We got the NCAA tournament continuing, a whole lot on the slate. I just need it to be better for me than yesterday because mm. yesterday Ooh, was wait. a lot of bad beatings I got. It was oh. like I broke a rule in school and <laughs> I didn't want to come home because you knew the fire was on its way. So, <laughs> I, I, But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling uh, upbeat and ready to go. What about the you? fire. That's a good way to put it. The fire all the I'm way. feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I, uh, I had hit some bets, missed some bets yesterday, but I'm excited and also kind of sad that March Madness is ending yeah, soon because it's such a wild ride. Yeah, it is a wild ride. But we, you know, yesterday was, was a solid day. Uh, we had a great uh, great time on the betcast. Yeah, Knicks awesome. couldn't yeah, close awesome it out, job. but it was an interesting game. It was entertaining. Uh, they played well. We couldn't finish it out. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Looking forward to talking sports like I always do with you guys. Let's, uh, March Madness... We got life on the horizon, though. We got baseball coming back. You know, it never stops. Yeah, it's playoffs cool. and stuff. Yeah. March Madness. I NBA. like the chaos. I like the chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I like the betting chaos. Yeah, yeah. That, that doesn't like betting on kids. Right. <laughs> and speaking of betting on kids, let's start the show off with a little dancing with the spreads. This Saturday, the final four teams will be standing in to play for the right in the NCAA title game on Monday. We've got the number one Kansas taking on the number two Villanova at 6 p.m. Then we got the number two Duke who will take on their arch rivals, the number eight North Carolina Tar Heels. We're going around the room and we're gonna tell you our thoughts on the tournament. Sean, I'm gonna start with you. Yeah. What makes you think that Duke can beat North Carolina and get Coach K to another NCAA title? First of all, it's insane that this is the first time they've ever matched up in the tournament. Right. And it's the Final Four. I think a big talking point that's beginning lost, and this is Hubert Davis's first year as the head coach at North Carolina. No one's talking about that, but I think this storyline is too much to overcome for North Carolina. Duke minus four, I like that play. They can fill it up. They score 80 points a game. Williams in the middle is going to be the anchor, and I think that perimeter D slows up the rest of those guys. Uh, hey, listen, if anybody's hitting at 50, 60% from three, they're going to win, but I think they can slow it down, and if it does get up and down, Duke can score with the best of them. I like Duke to take care of business. All right, Jeff. What makes you think that the Tar Heels can beat their hated rivals and play in their second NCAA title since 2017? I mean, I think they've looked as impressive, if not more impressive, than Duke over this last run. They've averaged about 82 points per game and given up 59. If you take out that Baylor game where um, one of the players got ejected with a really BS call, right? Yeah. So I think if you look at that plus... This is the this is the game for to, to be king of North Carolina. Mm. Chapel Hill can become the undisputed capital of college hoops if they take down Duke, send yep. Coach K packing, and win this game. It would only be better if it was a national title game. Then that's when you're yep. putting all the chips at the in the yep. middle of the table. They beat them once, they beat them by double digits, which I think revenge game is in play. But yeah, if anyone can do it, at at worst for them to cover their spread. But yeah, this is going to be like one of the best games of the decade. Absolutely. All right. Kansas Jayhawks, can they beat Villanova? Yeah, they absolutely can. And, and it, listen, Kansas got a little help with the injuries uh, to the star players from Villanova. Uh, but Kansas is, is a great team in its, in its own right. Bill Self does a great job of coaching. Uh, they play great defense on the perimeter. They get out and run. They put up a lot of points. Yeah. And Achai Abaji is one of the prolific players in, in, in the country right now. He can shoot it from three. He can defend on the perimeter. And he likes to get out and run. They're going to push up the tempo. Villanova's going to try to slow him down. We saw what happened last night. When, when, you, when you get a team that starts running, you try to play their game. Yeah, you get out of sorts. You get all that out of sorts. That's why I'm riding with Kansas because they just, I love the way they play. All right, and that leaves Villanova, probably the least likely team to make it out <laughs> of this round. And while I can't necessarily make a case for them to win this game, I can make a case to take them plus four and a half. Uh, number one, Jay Wright. I mean, that guy is just amazing. He's won two championships in just five years. And the Wildcats, they're actually pretty great on the free throw line. They're 90% in the tournament so far. The uh, Jayhawks, not so hot against Miami. They're about 50%. And if you can get some turnovers on them, that's when they get themselves into right. trouble. So I do think if... Villanova can do great on the free throw line and, you know, do some turnovers. That four and a half isn't too bad of a bet here. But let's talk about what our best bets are real quick. All right. Duke UNC over 151. They've combined for over 160 points in the four games that they played together. Familiarity, no major injuries. I think they're putting on a show. Yeah. I got Duke minus four. Like I said, Mark Williams is going to lock up the middle of the interior for them, protect the rim. Caleb Love, who's been going crazy for North Carolina, and Brady Manick, who's shooting the three ball really well. 
if they can focus, if Duke can focus on just guarding the perimeter and not have to worry so much about them getting by and blowing by and getting to the bucket and shooting the three, and I think Williams will hold out that middle. I like Duke minus four, Coach K. It's just too much. The <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, I, I think this game will be tight. Uh, you know, when you talk about Kansas and Villanova, I'm going to go with Kansas and lay the four and a half points, but it's going to be tight until the end. I think that once you get that pace going, the momentum starts going the other way, Kansas is going to take off with this game. I like the over 151 in the Duke and UNC game. These are great offenses, and the defense can be a little bit shaky. Both of these games this year, the matchups have gone over this number. In fact, their last one went all the way up to 175. You know they're going to put on a show. What are they called? The Tobacco Road yeah. rivalry yeah, right, right, here? Yeah, right. yeah, and there's Eric Church that is canceling his concert uh -oh. in order to go to this game. Which it's a real I actually, fan. Yeah. I actually appreciate that he did that. His Here's the refund. So Don't worry about it. Yeah.